Okay, so in this webcast, we're going to look at power system protection and coordination. This is our first topic, and what we will discuss in this first of the free webcast is we will look at the need for protection, the fault types and the effects, the calculation of short circuit currents, system grounding or earthing, protection systems, fuses, instrument transformers, and we will end with looking at circuit breakers. Now the picture tells you why we need power system protection, otherwise we can end up with equipment being damaged and that can lead to quite a long delay or outage time. So why do we need power system protection? Because our customers demand power without interruptions. The supply of the power must be done with no safety impact to either the personnel or, as you've seen in the previous picture, damage to equipment. It is necessary to detect system failures and then to isolate only the faulty sections so that you limit the number of consumers that will be affected. Electrical protection is used to detect, locate, and very importantly, discriminate faults, and to isolate the fault equipment in the network, and also then ensure that the damage that happens is minimized, and the rest of the system has uh, unaffected supply. Now, the power protection system operational requirements, first we need selectivity. That means to detect and isolate only the faulty item. Secondly, we need stability. That is to leave all the other healthy circuits intact so that we have continuity of supply. Thirdly, sensitivity. We need to detect the lowest level of fault current or any system up normality, and it must operate correctly before the fault can cause irreparable damage. And then lastly, speed it must operate with the necessary speed when called upon to do so, and that will then also minimize the damage to the equipment and it will ensure safety for the personnel.